What's up guys, Andrew here. Hope you guys are all having another great day and welcome back to the second game of the Comac Academy Summer League season. In today's game, the boys are taking on a team named Brody's Bunch. And while we're at it, why don't we take a look at today's starting lineup. Starting us off in goal once again is Scott Flores, followed by the three defenders of Tyler Savitsky, Matt Muller, and Noah Gittleman going from right to left, with Gene Sicoli and Peter Brennan starting us off up top. Starting off on the bench today is Kyle Gulley. The academy got off to a rough start last week against Sousa, so let's see if they can pick up all three points today. And Brody's bunch right, no gets worries. us started. Yeah, no worries. Brody's bunch trying to keep possession here, play back to their keeper. He goes long, and it's mistouched by their player. Matt Muller defends hard, takes it off him, beats his man. Little toe poke, far corner, it's a goal. Matt Muller with the first goal of the game, 1-0 Comac. Let's take a look at that one again. After a miscontrolled touch by the Brody player, Matt does very well to take it off him, beat his man, and finish far corner. Team Brody with the restart now, looking to get that goal back after a pretty weak defensive effort. They pass the ball around the back, look to give it up to the forward. High press from Comac and they lose the ball. Gene takes his man one-on-one, -on -one, right footed finish to the bottom corner, what a goal. 2 nothing. Gene does very well to get the ball quickly, turn, and have a strong finish to the bottom corner. It was at this moment that the cameraman had to become the water delivery boy for the Comac Academy goalkeeper. And due to this, he misses the third goal scored by Comac by Gene Sicoli. Back behind the camera and back on the ball is Tyler Savitsky. He picks his head up and plays Noah through on a very smart ball. Noah's in one-on-one -on -one and it's a great save by the keeper. Pete Lopes on the free kick now. He takes it quickly for a one-time shot, saved well by Scott Flores. Scott Flores with the ball now. Takes a nice throw out to Noah Gittleman who settles it. Picks up his head. Gene's making a run on the back side. Chips it through. One-on-one. -on -one. Gene chips it over the keeper for a very nice goal. What a ball and what a finish. Noah chips him in, and Gene puts it right over the keeper's head for a nice goal. Matt defending now for Comac. Keep pushing him back. It's a strong tackle. Defending very well, Matt is right now. And the referee calls the foul. Brody's team takes it quick. Two touches for a long shot, and it's off Scott's gloves and in. Brody's team takes his free kick very quickly. Catches Comac off guard almost, and finds its way into the back of the net. The keeper for Brody's team on the ball now looks long for a long throw, taken down nicely by the forward and beats Scott near post. Brody's forward just got behind our Comac defense here, takes a very nice first touch and a great left footed finish. Scott now plays the ball out to Matt, picks his head up, looks for a long ball, intercepted by Brody's player, goes one on one with Scott and finishes at bottom corner. A great interception here by Brody's player and it was a cool, calm, collected finish. Pete Lopes on the ball now for Brody's team, plays it out wide to the winger. He finds a forward, checking down to the bottom corner, gets it back, cuts into the middle, Rabana shot, and it's a great save by Scott. Scott picks up the ball here for Comac, plays out wide to Noah. Noah picks his head up, looks to switch the field. Oh, it's taken away again by the Brody forward. Has a shot, and it's another good save by Scott. Comac really struggling to get out of their half now. Scott gives the ball away again, and Brody's team picks it up on the inside half. Pete Lopes plays to their midfielder, has a long shot, and Scott's forced to save again. Noah Gittleman now for Comac, finds Gene in a little bit of space, turns his man, goes one on one, has a hit and it's well saved by Brody's keeper. Team Brody's team possessing well here, the they take Noah one on one, one. loses uh, his tackle, knock the ball out wide, play it right across and it's an easy goal for Brody's team. Brody's team did well to get numbers up here, as they knock the ball wide, it's four on one and it's just an easy finish. Brody's team looking threatening again as they play the ball to the top of the box, Noah blocks the shot, and Peter comes down and races for it. Knocks the defender off the ball, wins it cleanly, and takes it on. He beats his defender one-on-one. -on -one. Now it's just a keeper to beat, and he puts it over him for the goal. Peter did really well here to win the ball cleanly and fairly, beat his man one-on-one, -on -one and have a nice, easy finish over the keeper. At this point in the game, we go to Peter Lopes for a word on his brand new mixtape. Peter? Young remix, baby. Thank you, Peter. Now, unfortunately, during that promotion, we missed another Comac goal from Tyler Savitsky, meaning that Comac is now up 6-4. to four. Brody's keeper on the ball now. Sees the run of his winger, goes over Gene. 
Oh, he rips it right at Scott. It's a great save. Comac prepares to defend the corner now as Brody's team look to take it quick. They follow the run in. He miss hits it. Scott, one on one with the forward, makes the first save, stands himself up, and does very well one on one to make the second save. Gene gets on the ball here from a pass from Matt. Stands his defender up one on one. A few little tricky moves here to beat Brody, and he blasts it past the keeper for his second goal of the game. Gene had his defender absolutely guessing here, and he blasts it past the keeper. Nice and easy. Brody's team on the ball now. They play a hard ball across the ground, and Noah clears. Picked up in the middle by Gene, who plays Noah all the way up the field. He turns it around, and it's a good finish for another goal by Comac. Noah puts in some amazing work here as he clears it from his own box, sprints all the way up the field to get the pass from Gene into the other box, and puts it away. Really, really well done. Into the second half now with Brody's team possessing the ball. They look into the feet of their forward, he picks it up, turns Noah, carries it into the corner. The other forward slips in behind the defense, and it's an easy goal. Comac's defense just fell asleep on that one as the forward was able to turn, beat his man, Slip it by the keeper into an open net. Gene on the ball here now for Comac. Gets picked up early by the forward, and he looks to switch the field, get it out of pressure. It's picked off by Pete Lopso. He runs on the field, has a shot. It's a good save by Scott Flores, and cleared out by Matt at the end. Brody's team on the ball again. Comac feeling a lot of pressure and not doing much about it. They cut through four or five defenders, lay it off, and it's another easy goal for Brody's team. It looks like Comac just gave up on this one watching him run through five guys and then lay it off for a goal. This game is starting to look a lot like the last game Comac played where in the second half it's all the other team controlling the possession. Brody's team on the ball here picking it up, controlling it, possessing, looking to switch it around. Nobody really stepping to the ball here. Peter Lopes plays a switch into their forward and it's another good save by Scott Flores. Pete Lopes throws the ball in for Brody's team now. And nobody really steps to the defender here. He carries the ball up, plays in Pete Lopes, who gets tackled, but it pops right out to their winger. He takes it in, beats two guys, has a shot on goal, deflected in. Unlucky here for Comac, as Scott Flores looked like he was about to make the save, but it was deflected in. The defender for Brody's team picks the ball up now and takes it up into space. Nobody really pressuring him, he picks it up, takes a shot on goal, oh, and he beats Scott Flores from distance. Looks like he just caught Comac off guard there as he took it up and looked like he wasn't going to shoot and then he put it right by Scott. Brody's team on the ball looking very threatening again in the attacking third. They have a shot and it's saved by Scott Flores. Rebound pops out to their winger. He beats another guy. Oh, it's deflected in. So unlucky. Scott Flores did really well here to make the first save on the initial shot and then once it popped out, he looked like he had the second one covered and it deflects right off the forward for the goal. Tyler on the ball now for Comac, has it taken away, he's trying to carry up the field. They carry it, play it across, Scott one-on-one, -on -one, big save, and he holds it too. Noah here on a free kick for Comac Academy, looks to take it quick. The player wasn't even five, six yards away, and the referee doesn't call it back. Brody's team counters now, one-on-one -on -one with Scott Flores, and they put it away. You would have to think the defender was a little too close here on the free kick. But nevertheless, Comac don't work back after the incident. They go one-on-one -on -one with Scott Flores, and he's left stranded for another goal. Brody's team back on the ball again, looks to switch the field, and does so well. One-on-one -on -one with Noah now, stands him up, fancy footwork again, lays it off the top of the box, and he finishes for another goal. Good feet here by the Brody players. He lays it off and puts it away very easily. A change in camera angle, but no change in the game. Brody's team still controlling. Lays it off. They have a chip shot. Scott puts it right into the path of the forward of Brody's team. Scott did well to make this initial save on the chip shot, but he makes it and he puts it right onto the foot of the forward. Unlucky. As the game nears its end, Gene is on the ball now. He beats his first man and looks to take it all the way. Beats his second man. He's one on one with the keeper now. Oh, what a goal that is from Gene Sicoli. Well done, even though it's a consolation, but still a very, very nice goal. A great solo effort here from Gene as he beats two men on a full field run and finishes nicely. And that's the last bit of action we'll see from this game. Final score, 12-9 to 9 in favor of Brody's team.
Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed our second game of the Summer League season. If you did, leave a like. If you're new here, subscribe. And until then, I'll see you next time. Be good.